I think the first reason to start using Landworks CAD in your business straight away is its ability to save you an awful lot of time. By being able to open files such as DWG files created by others using programs like AutoCAD, you don't have to start drawing from scratch. You literally select the file that they've emailed to you and choose Open. The software will convert the file and display it as a Landworks drawing. More often than not, when the drawing comes in, it will contain a lot of information that is superfluous, something that you don't need. So let's have a quick look at this particular drawing by using our zooming window. And uh, here we've got a title block. Well, I don't really need that title block. That's not going to be mine. I'm going to look here then to see what's on this part of the drawing. And there's some elevations. Again, I don't think I need that information. And if I look closely here, I see that there's a some swimming pool detail and in actual fact this is an area that the client wants us to revisit and redo because they don't like what the architect has uh, has actually come up with um, and if we look more closely then at this region of the drawing yep this is the information I want this has the site boundary and it has the proposed and existing dwelling in place so I can utilize that information in my new drawing I find the best way to do that is to actually select the area that I want by just dragging a box around the area that I want to keep. Then using Edit and Cut, and of course, like we said earlier, follow the prompt, and it says here to select a position to use as the origin of these entities, and I'll just grab a point just here and click, and it will cut this information out of this drawing, ready for me to paste into a new drawing. To create the new drawing, all I need to do is select File, New from Template. Once I do this, the software looks at the existing file and says, do you wish to save it? And in this case, I don't, so I say no. And then it gives me the option to choose one of the pre-existing templates, or in fact, I've made one here that has my own title block on it, and I select Open. Once the file has loaded, you'll be presented with a drawing sheet. The drawing sheet isn't where you actually do the drawing, but it represents an imaginary sheet of paper, and yes, you will see the drawing appear here. But most drawing sheets are set up to give you your title block and the information about your client that you can click on and edit as you need to. And the actual drawing happens within what's called model space, where we have an infinitely large area that we can draw within. And we will be entering the information that we draw at true scale. So as a designer, you'll no longer have to think about the actual scale or length of line that you're typing in. If something is three foot six, you will be entering in 3 foot 6. If something is 15 meters, you will be entering 15 meters without the need to convert any of the lengths. There's another advantage to that in as much as you never have to worry about making a mistake. Just enter the information exactly as it really is. Now in this working space, I've drawn a dotted blue line to help me understand the size of the sheet relative to what I'm drawing. So when I paste this in, and I'm going to use Edit, Paste, I'm going to follow the prompt to select the position to, to uh, paste the entities, and I'm actually just going to click down here in the lower left corner, and the drawing that we cut from the previous imported file is now pasted into my top view. You can see that this is a top view, and on my drawing sheet on the paper, you'll notice that it has cleanly cut the edges off. Now I can manipulate that in the future, and I will do uh, a little bit later on, and I can move this image around on the sheet very easily as well. Again, another advantage of working with Landworks CAD is you don't have to know or understand where the drawing needs to be right in the early stages of your design. Let's just have a look back here now, and we'll start to look at removing even more information from here that we don't need in order to start the actual design work for creating this garden that we need to create for our client. 